EA Sports. It's in the game. The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester United. They face Paris Saint-Germain and it's coming up live here on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. 
Aaron Wan-Bissaka starts alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Paul Pogba plays with Fred in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith, and we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. It's the Merseyside derby, the People's Club, as Everton refer themselves, and Liverpool, with the greater history, really. But that's all forgotten today. It's about today. Well, there's always a buzz in the city when this derby comes along and uh, I think we're going to see some terrific football because two strong teams here. Alan, when you were playing, I guess Liverpool were the side to beat. If you finished above Liverpool, you'd win the league and you did, of course, a couple of times. Well, that's right. And Anfield was a fortress. Times have changed, but uh, everybody concerned with this football club will be hoping that they can regain that place in English football and in on the European stage. Craig Pawson is the referee here. And it's Liverpool. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Messi. Mbappe. Messi sends it back. And it has arrived. The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Can go in from here. Oh, and goes across. He's just reached it, the goalkeeper. Barry, a minute to go of added time. at this stage well that lad's just made himself a hero with that goal because I think it's going to win his team the match well a very exciting climax to an exciting game. Parisian pride shines through PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League
Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. ...in a match that doesn't seem much of an opportunity. Everton have won here. There's the final whistle. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment is a key. Uh, and they've lost a the game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So, plenty of work on the training ground next week. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club king? Messi. And it has arrived, the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. What a block. Plays it back. Keeping good diving stop. Just over the top in the end. Well, visionary passing. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Hakimi. And off target by Miles with that one. And a goal kick will ensue. Van der Beek. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good...